you can't survive in tech i'm not even joking like i'm not trying to be hating i'm not trying to discourage but you can survive in tech if you do not have patience i tell you tech is for those who have patience if you don't have patience if you don't actually have patience and if you do not have patience you cannot survive in tech in tech you require patience sometimes some lines of code are not going and then it's giving you mood swings and then you're going crazy you're going gaga you're wondering who did i offend why is this thing not running like it ran for this person why is it not running for me that's why you need to actually just take a chill pill you need to probably just shut that system down and you need to just go to your bed straight down to relax because you need to have patience you can't also survive in tech if you do not know how to communicate yes you do not need to know how to communicate because you're not actually programming or you're not coding or you're not solving solutions for yourself you're solving solutions and you're probably not just only the one on the team you're probably working with some stakeholders you're working with the product owner you're working with a bunch of other people probably developers like yourself trying to get that solution out of the table you know you're trying to get that thing done prepared nice good interface you're trying to make it workable and you don't even know how to communicate like them you probably you're not supposed to be in tech you're not in tech if you have anxiety issues oh god tech gives me high blood pressure <laughs> if you have anxiety issues like any little thing uh you got a running stomach you want to go use the bathroom every now and then you got anxiety you probably just have phobia whenever you open your system and go on visual studio code or you use any other text editor like you got anxiety you cannot survive in tech if you are not user focused man you are you building up a solution for for me like your boss I, uh, i'm pretty sure you're not busy for your organization you're building it for people not dummies not donkeys not us it's not chickens you're building it for humans and you can't definitely survive in tech if you are not user what did i say focus another thing i would like to put for the last time is ask and listen open your ears like this and draw it if you don't understand something that the product owner is saying or the stakeholders are saying ask questions and listen attentively make sure you're cleared on the requirements before you embark on anything i know a lot of developers would always want to be like there's no solution that can't be done definitely but you need to be able to understand why they are being that solution who they are being that solution for you need to be able to ask more questions if you're confused otherwise you might not be able to survive in tech and last but not the least if you got pride please pack your load tech is not for you and the uh, uh, i'm the boss <laughs> i know everything i am the uh, uh, i know a lot i know every please you got pride you don't even want to ask you don't even want to you know come down to just like get knowledgeable improve your skills you just always want to be an island probably an introvert somebody who just in their own world always like getting their learnings youtube without probably asking a community because they feel like they are too big man just take chill take a different career course <laughs> path take a different career path like you can't really survive in tech i don't mean to be mean but if you know that you have those traits like please you probably need to work on yourself because definitely there is no situation that can't be like you know transformed i'm just going to just you know scoop up together clear all the rubbish put a big ribbon on it and become you know renew yourself definitely you're going to be surviving tech if you like my kind of content and you want to see more of these videos like please try to just subscribe click the like button and maybe that could help me to put a bigger smile on my face bye